and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom and this is going to be the August update for 2023. Uh, so let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is not a movie. Uh, it is actually a soundtrack of one of my favourite cartoons, Jace and the World Warriors, which is arguably I think has one of the best theme songs uh, of any kind of cartoon. And this was a French, uh, well, this is a French soundtrack. Um, the actual series was uh, co-produced America, uh, French co-production. Uh, so the obviously the soundtrack here is uh, actually from the French version. It's actually a crowdfunded um, release. Now, I bought this and then I kind of realised I don't actually have a CD player anymore. So... There you go. Uh, and some of the tracks you can actually get on YouTube, uh, but as you see here, it's got like 24 tracks, so there's quite a few tracks on there. I will point out this is the French versions of the tracks. They are slightly different if you've ever seen the uh, English language version. They sound a little bit different, but they're very, very similar. Uh, I love the theme too, but I also love the incidental music for this series. Um, so there you go, Jason the World Warriors, the soundtrack. Uh, I'm pleased to have it even though I can't actually listen to the CD. Right, so let's get on with some movies. Uh, just the one DVD uh, this month, and this is uh, Paranormal Encounters, um, which I won't lie, it was the cover here that sold this to me, because it kind of looks very much Grave Encounters. Um, it's actually also known as uh, Ghost Project, or also Side Project, I think it, I think it came out in the UK first. I think it's actually actually released in the US yet. I have done a review of this film. It's okay, you know. It's not a bad kind of ghost kind of movie. It's almost a little bit like um, a non-comedy version of Ghostbusters to a certain degree, although they're less catching ghosts, more kind of just studying them really. But uh, it's all right. There's some missed opportunities though, to be sure. Uh, next up, uh, we have our Blu-rays, and the first one I'm talking about is Red Faction, which is actually a video game movie, and that was the call of the uh, PlayStation 2 uh, video game that I really enjoyed uh, back when I used to play video games, and I played the first two games, and I have actually seen this movie before, but uh, I actually thought I might have reviewed it, but I, apparently I haven't, so I must have saw this before... Um, I actually started doing YouTube, uh, to be honest with you. Now, this is a German release. It's actually called Red Faction Origins, if you're looking up the um, the English title. I think it actually is released in the States. I have to be honest with you, I don't really remember this film, even though I definitely have seen it, which probably means it's not too memorable. Uh, but I thought I'd put it again. I just happened across it, and, um, yeah, I thought I would pick it up, because I, I, I really do enjoy the game, and... You know, it will be a fun film to kind of look back on. Uh, next up we have... Oh, God, I'm not even going to pronounce this. Um, Re, oh, I'm going to give it a go. Re Kajavik Whale Watching Massacre. Uh, and this was a birthday present. It was my birthday in August. And um, this is also known as, I think, Harpoon. Uh, or, or, or the Harpoon Massacre, possibly. Uh, I've yet to watch this one. Um... But I sort of quite fancied it. It looked quite good, and uh, I was lucky enough to uh, to get this for my birthday. Um, so yeah, so I would probably I'll watch and review this at some point. Um, so if you've watched my updates for any length of time, you'll know I'm a bit of a Marvel fan. Although I have dialed back on it, I have to be honest. Um, and I've been picking up the 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 latest wave of the Mondo Steel books, but kind of like on the aftermarket, so I've not picked them up from Zavi, who is the UK distributor, because I'm just not paying that money now for kind of like re-release after re-release. So I've been picking them up off eBay when they're kind of £20 or less, and I, and this one uh, was £20 or less. Uh, so I picked it up, this is Ant-Man and the Wasp, and this was the first MCU film that I did not go and see at the cinema. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's not one I particularly like all that much, but I am a, somewhat of a completionist, even though I am sort of taking my foot off the pedal in regards to uh, the kind of the Marvel movies. Uh, but yeah, this one, as I say, it was an exercise, and I do actually like the design here. It's actually probably, I, I think, to be honest with you, it's the, uh, the Ant-Man and the Wasp really steelbooks. This is probably my favourite design at the very least. 
So even though I don't love the film, like I said, I am a, somewhat of a completion. I've got two more of these Mondos to, uh, to try and find now on the, on the cheap, and uh, we'll see how we do. Uh, next up, we have uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse, and this is the pop art edition. I actually have, I think there's six Resident Evil films, and I had four of them, two of which are the uh, pop art. So I thought I would try and pick up the uh, remaining pop art ones. Uh, I've got uh, one and six, um, or is it five? I've got the first and the last one. Um, and this one came up on eBay for like £10, so I thought I'd pick it up. It doesn't have a J card, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, I liked, uh, I'm one of these people that like to keep the J cards and... To me, it's not complete, but there you go. It was only a tenner. I can't really complain too much. Um, next up, we have uh, Miami Vice. This is the movie. Again, this was a birthday present, so uh, thank you, Laura. And, uh, yeah, I was a big fan of the original uh, TV series when it came out in the 80s, and... Um, I went and saw the movie uh, at the cinema, and it doesn't quite capture that TV magic, but I still really enjoyed this movie, and I haven't actually seen the unrated uh, director's edition uh, either, so um, I'll, I'll be keen to check it out. This is actually a uh, Region 1 uh, steelbook. I um, don't think it's got a release. I do have a German DVD steelbook of this, but what a what a great you know, artwork here. Fantastic. But I really did enjoy uh, Colin Farrell and Jamie Foxx in this role. I actually did think they did a pretty good uh, approximation of uh, Crockett and Tubbs, to be honest with you, from the uh, TV show. But what a cool-looking steelbook, I have to say. It's actually one of my favourite-looking steelbook of recent years. Uh, next up, we have another American steelbook. Uh, this one is Deadstream, and I have to give a big shout out to uh, Matt from uh, You and Your Horror Movies, who actually picked this up for me and sent it over. Um, uh, so, really big thanks to that because it's not available here in the UK, and uh, you know, I wanted to get a release because this is this is one of my kind of uh, kind of favourite films of recent years in regards to kind of horror movies and stuff like that. It's a fun found footage movie that's kind of like horror comedy that manages to be both funny and scary uh, a, a rare feat in horror and it's a found footage movie as well and it kind of has youtube elements to it because the guy our main protagonist is a youtuber and obviously me kind of being a youtuber myself you know you kind of look at that and think, oh, yeah, i feel you i feel you so that is dead stream this is a region one release And then uh, the final thing I got, and this again was a um, birthday present. Uh, this one from my brother, so thank you, Guy. And this is the Arrow um, Empire Video Store uh, box set. Now, I actually saw this on uh, Donny's channel, um, cinemat uh, uh, Cinematic... Oh, God. I've forgotten what it is. Cinematic 77? I've forgotten his channel off the top of my head. So I this is this just goes to show you 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 know you watch YouTube videos and you think oh you 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 see stuff that you may not have otherwise realised was out and that's true of this one so thank you Donny for bringing this one to my attention uh, this has been unboxed in a few videos before but I will just kind of uh, have a look so this is basically the um, a lot of the kind of the movies that were. Uh, Kind of the, the um, they came out for from from Empire, which is a kind of the precursor to uh, Full Moon, and it's got a load of films that I really do enjoy. It's got a slipcase there, and let's have a quick look. So the first one is a uh, cellar dweller. These have um, versatile artwork as well. Uh, I've opted for the uh, the newly uh, made artwork. Um, because a lot of them are the, the originals of actually the American artwork, rather than the British artwork, so I prefer the British artwork. So I've just kept them, the, 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 all of the new ones. This is the one the, uh, at the movie at the box that I'm kind of least familiar with. I have seen it, and I will probably review it. I didn't, I didn't mind it, this one, but I think it's the, the least out of the films here. Uh, then we have Dolls, which I did actually have on Blu-ray, but it, it, I didn't have this Arrow version. Um, and this is a genuinely kind of uh, quite scary uh, 
horror movie about these killer dolls. Um, so I'll look forward to re-watching that one. And now we come on to the ones I, I'm really excited about. Uh, Dungeon Master. In the UK, this was actually known as Rage War. And I really love this movie. It is t uh, objectively not a good film. Uh, and this is one of those ones where, you know, I'll, I'll go for this new artwork because the original artwork is the American version, which is not what we got in the UK. So I'll just go for the new artwork. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of a sort of an anthology movie, um, but with kind of a connective um, sort of, you know, characters and stuff in there. It's a fun, schlocky movie with lots of variety. Uh, next up, we have uh, Robot Jocks. And this is really a kind of a precursor to Pacific Rim, if you haven't seen it, kind of giant robots. And I think was Empire Pictures' most expensive movie um, to date up, up until this point. And it's a pretty good um, mech movie, I suppose, with these uh, mechs uh, basically taking the place of um, kind of world wars. They have these kind of one-on-one -on -one fights with these giant mechs. Uh, and then this, they use kind of stop, stop motion animation and things like this. Uh, they actually had a few kind of quasi-sequels that didn't really follow on, but were kind of a similar concept, all of which were pretty good. But this was the original. And the one which is uh, my personal favourite out of this box set is Arena. Now, this was the only one that didn't get a Blu-ray release up until this point. Uh, it did have a German DVD release, but the I think the original prints were lost. And this is why, until this point, it's never actually been released on Blu-ray. Uh, and this is essentially Rocky in space. Um, and it's a really fun uh, kind of underdog story with a kind of this human kind of fighter going up against various kind of alien creatures. And there's not been a human fighter for years, you know, in this kind of uh, context of this film. It's a fun, uh, you know, kind of lower budget movie ultimately, but it's got really great practical makeup and effects and things like that so uh well worth a look and then you also get this uh booklet uh which goes through um you know a lot of the kind of the uh, the, the, the text making of various kind of photos and things like this so it's a decent little set there so that is my pickups for august uh please do let me know what you think of any of these releases anything tickle your fancy Please do let me know and I will look forward to speaking to you in the comments. Bye for now.